Hello and welcome to the NHL Draft on TSN Radio 1050. With the draft coming up in a few hours, everyone is wondering whether it's going to be Mikael Pedersen or Alexi Vagno selected first overall. But before we get to that, we've got some breaking news to report. After tests were run at the NHL Draft Combine, it has been determined that the top two players in this year's draft Alexi Vagno and Mikael Pedersen are in fact twins. After a rumor was run in the Toronto Star about two months ago discussing the similarity of the two players, it has been confirmed that both the Finnish and Danish forward forwards are twins. This has come as a huge surprise to both players and they were not immediately available to reach for comment. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. How's it going guys, it's your Adib here and it's time for episode 3 of Mikael Pedersen BA Pro Series. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded this one, this uh, episode in a while. I'm sure um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are uh, looking forward to it, but here it is, finally got to it. I'm going to be a little bit more regular with these, but uh, I'll try my best. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, intro there. And yes, the news is out. And Alexi, Vigno, and Mikael Pedersen have been confirmed to be twins. How the players are going to react to this, nobody knows. I'm sure James Duthie will uh, have a few questions for them after they get selected. It's everyone knows they're going one and two, but who goes one? Nobody knows. Anyways, it's time for the draft, so we'll head to the Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for uh, the the pick to be announced by Edmonton GM Steve Tambellini. The Edmonton Oilers are so proud to select from the Shawinigan Cataracts, Mikael Pedersen. So that's right, Mikael Pedersen is off to the Oilers to play in Edmonton. He joins an already young team thirsty for a uh, playoff experience, and the city is looking forward uh, for Mikael to help them get there. Now with the second pick, guess who the Columbus Blue Jackets decided to pick up? Who else but Alexi Vigneault? So although Alexi bested Mikel in the Memorial Cup, it was Mikel who bested him in the draft, and the Oilers felt as if Mikel can develop into the better player. After signing a three-year contract, it was time for the preseason, and with Mikel busting his ass in training camp, we were able to change some uh, hockey shot boost to better suit his playing style. And now it's time for the preseason. Our first game, we're against the uh, Minnesota Wild. Uh, Edmonton Oilers are at home. So uh, Mikel is going to be playing on the first line with Taylor Hall and Jordan Eberle, as well as on the power play. So you'll get a couple extra chances from there. And if you guys are wondering what uh, level difficulty I do play on, I am playing Superstar. I've just gotten used to it from my GM Connected, uh, where all the computer games are Superstar. And I've just learned how to play that way. So anyways... Taylor Hall would start us off with a nice goal to make it one nothing. Then Schultz would pass by uh, Hall. Schultz would pick it up and put it away to make it two to nothing with 30 seconds left in the first. We go to the second. It's three nothing after the sim. Maybe Potter getting a goal on our deflection. We are just rolling over Minnesota at this point. And here. Mikel brings it into the zone, takes a shot, a nice glove save, but Everly will put in the rebound. And with that, Pedersen would finish the game with two assists, a plus four, and uh, 14 shots. Couldn't get his first uh, NHL goal, I guess preseason goal, but he has a chance here against Colorado, a little bit of a weaker opponent. And to start off, Colorado would get a nice chance to be Mitchell putting it away to make it 1-0. And then a nice chance, a snipe in the top corner there. And like just like that, it's 2 nothing. But here comes Mikael Patterson. A nice pass. Picks up the puck. And rips a shot past uh, Barlamov, I think it was, or Jiguer. And that would make it 2-1. Uh, but then Colorado would get one in the sim. But coming back, Patterson finds himself open. And nice top cheddar shot. And that's the second of the game. And just like that, it's 3-2. Here's a chance. Hartikainen would leave it to uh, Patterson. Patterson would feed... Uh, uh, at the point, Hartikainen would tip it in to make it 3-3, three three, and we're in overtime. Jaguar would make a mistake. Pedersen would pick it up, and a nice play there to fool the defenseman, and just fire it away for his first career NHL preseason hat-trick, and that's the game winner. So he finishes that game with uh, three goals, one assist, first star, uh, for sure, four points, and 12 shots, so he's just uh, raking in those shots, trying to get as much goals as possible. 
let his uh, team know that he's ready to play on the first line. So anyways, we go into our next game against Vancouver. To start off, a nice pass by Pedersen, and he gets gets the assist for Smead. And after the sim, it would end up being a uh, 2-1 for Vancouver. Everly would take a shot, <laughs> a nice play by Pedersen to be there for the rebound. And Mikkel's got himself a goal. This game would finish 3-2 for Vancouver, but Pedersen would finish with a goal and an assist uh, on 8 shots. And a plus minus a 0. So pretty good for him there. And we go into our last game against Calgary, the Battle of Alberta. And to start off, it'd be Glenn Cross with a nice clapper to put it away. Uh, so bad back check by Mikkel, but that's okay. He would try to make it up here. <laughs> Look at that breakout speed. Crashes the net and somehow gets it past Kiprasov. And just like that, it's 1-1. One one and Pedersen has his fifth goal of the preseason. But in the third period, right at the start of the period, Pedersen doesn't doesn't cover his spot, and again they will put it away on the rebound, and Edmonton will lose that, lose that one and end up losing that four to one, a minus uh, minus one for Pedersen, but he does get a goal. So as you can see, Edmonton decides to s keep me in the NHL. Uh, I mean, first overall pick should do that, but just letting you guys know, their season expectations: 117 shots, pretty easy. 21 goals, judging by our uh, preseason stats, it should be pretty good. Uh, 41 points and 18 assists, and. Uh, we end up finishing the preseason with five goals and four assists, so pretty good uh, by Mikel there. He also led the team in penalty minutes with 17, but three of those were actually uh, fights. So take what you want, but Mikel Pedersen looks like he is the real deal. He's going into the NHL regular season with a great preseason with uh, nine points in four games and five goals in four games. Let's see if he could keep that pace up in the uh, NHL regular season where the best players are playing and no uh, prospects that are trying to be tried out in the uh, preseason. So anyways, that's episode number three of Mika Pedersen. A lot of you guys have been asking when this is going to come out. I finally delivered. Uh, it's been a while. I mean, I'm trying to uh, keep up with Let's Play Hot and RDFC. So, but whenever I get a chance, I will release Mika Pedersen. Uh, I'm trying to make the uh, storyline a little bit more interesting, just so it's not like your typical just play games, that kind of stuff. So you guys actually follow a uh, career and uh, the life of Mikael Patterson. So anyways, that's the end of episode 3 of Mikael Patterson. Hopefully episode uh, 4 should be out sometime uh, this weekend. And it will be the uh, first game and probably like his first week in the NHL. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed that, please leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment letting me know what you guys want to see in terms of the season. I'm sure you guys don't want to see all the games. I'm thinking maybe like five or six episodes per season, and then we'll go into like playoffs each round separately. And um, if you guys want to see that, even less games, less episodes for the regular season, uh, I wouldn't mind at all because let, let's try to get his career to like the top before uh, NHL 14 where it's, it seems like it's going to be a lot more interesting with uh, the live the life feature where you have uh, media influence, teammate influence, fan influence, family influence, owner influence, all that kind of stuff where your decisions influence who the player you are and how uh, teammates react to you and that kind of stuff. It looks a lot better than what they have right now. So anyways, yep, that's episode number three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't. So uh, almost at 300 subs. It'd be nice to hit that milestone and uh, get it out of the way and keep rolling towards uh, 400. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Let's Play Hot should be out in the next couple hours after I uh, upload this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.